Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylie, if you are new here, and Happy New Year. Today I am doing a 2019 in review video. So, so many good memories from 2019 and I can't wait to share them with you and walk down memory lane. Ah, so many great things happened. 2019 was a year for the books. Honestly, truly loved 2019 for me personally. It was a great year. A lot of things happened. I think I said it best in my Instagram post, so I kind of want to read what I wrote. I was getting ready to get on a flight and I kind of just came up with something short and sweet to write as the year kind of came to a close. I just kind of wrote this and posted it. So I said 2019 was a pretty special year. I got to experience a lot of new things and visit new places. I moved out of my hometown to a different state and away from what I've known my entire life. I grew in ways I couldn't imagine and best yet I said to forever with my best friend. So here's to a new year new memories, growth, and wedding planning. So that's just kind of a brief look into everything that I'm about to say, but yes, 2019 was a crazy year full of a lot of new things and experiences, and let's just get into it. <laughs> so starting in January, it was the start of 2019 and basically I accepted a new full-time job offer with a new company and I put in my two weeks with Penn State. If you're new here, I was working at Penn State, which is also where I went to college and I had to say goodbye and that's also where I grew up. So I grew up in Penn State or State College and went to college there and then I got a job there and so this was a big change for me and it was crazy. I accepted that job offer and Will and I decided because he had just graduated and he accepted a job offer and both of our start dates were within a day of each other's. We decided to take a three week vacation and we went to Naples, Florida and Grand Cayman. So in January to February, in like a three week period, we traveled to those places and those are two places I have never been to before. I had never thought I would ever go to before. So we went on a little vacation and I can't believe I got to go to those places. I am so blessed that I was able to go. We went to Naples to stay with his grandmother because she went down there for the colder months. And then we went to Grand Cayman with his mom and his stepdad and that was just an incredible vacation as well. Okay, so after our vacation, we got back to State College and we had to start our jobs. So we had to pack up our bags and this is when we were moving to a different state. So I had to say goodbye to my hometown. I had to say goodbye to my family and we were moving to Virginia. So in February, we moved to Virginia and this was also when we had taken our trip to Grand Cayman and this is also when we started our jobs. So February was a huge month of change and exploration and craziness. Within a week of us starting our jobs, we found the apartment that we're living in now. The Monday before we started our jobs, we were touring apartments because work was closed. It was Martin Luther King Jr. Day and I have a video about that if you want to check it out, but we found this apartment and we decided that we wanted to move into it and here we are now, today, still in this apartment and I can't believe it. I, it's just still surreal for me. So moving into March, March is kind of when we finally got all of our furniture for the apartment. We had ordered it the same weekend that we moved into the apartment, but it took that long for it to get to us. So we were sleeping on an air mattress and we were sitting on the floor and it was kind of just this whole crazy ordeal, but finally got our furniture. We went to our first basketball game in the city and that was exciting. We live near DC, so it's like a 30 minute metro ride. And not a lot really went on because we were really focusing on moving. And then April, I cut my hair short. It doesn't look like it now, but I cut like five or six inches off. I don't know. I wanted a change. 
a lot of my hair was unhealthy so I cut a lot off and then we went to see the cherry blossoms this is something that I always wanted to do they are beautiful they are to die for if you are ever in DC in April you should definitely go check them out but monitor when they are blooming because it's always like a hit or a miss so you should definitely go check that out I loved it We'll definitely be doing that again. We also celebrated Will's grandmother's 80th birthday. I love her so much, she is a gem. And that was such a fun party. I didn't know it yet, but this is the month that Will picked out my engagement ring. You would know that if you saw the proposal video, but I didn't know it yet, so. In May, Will's cousin came up and visited us and we went to two Cubs games. This was also our birthday month. I turned 24, he turned 23. We also went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Will's uncle and aunt had their huge like birthday extravaganza and we all went to Jackson Hole. And that trip was incredible. It was beautiful, it was amazing. I can't say enough about it. I'm speechless because it was so incredibly beautiful. It's not one of the places that I would ever think to visit on my own, but I am so grateful that I got to go because it was incredible. It was breathtaking and I would totally recommend that you go visit this place because it is just incredible. <laughs> but yes, I'm sure I have pictures up here showing you guys how beautiful it is, but you truly don't understand how gorgeous this place is unless you visit it yourself. So definitely recommend visiting Jackson Hole, Wyoming. In June, I went to the beach with my friends and that was really exciting. Just spending some time with them at the beach and we went for my friend's birthday, so that was exciting. And then I also got to see Ariana Grande. My fiance got me tickets and I was so excited. I love Ariana. I really wanna see her again, but those tickets are not cheap, let me tell you. But loved her in concert her voice is so good that was just a really good experience i have been going to like a lot of edm concerts lately so i forgot what it's actually like to go to like a concert that's not edm music and it's actually someone performing if you know what i'm saying so it was just a really good concert and experience in july i went to the bay house a lot which is will's mom's house in maryland and we had a lot of fun there. We went for the 4th of July and we just hung out there a lot. It's only like an hour away from our house, so it's not a bad drive. We would go there a lot on the weekends and we had like a friend's weekend there and that was fun. And yeah, that was just a lot of fun. We also went to Turks and Caicos, so that was a fun weekend. And I guess we went for like a long weekend. It was a, It was kind of like a shorter trip, but... It was still a lot of fun and yeah i never thought that i would ever go to turks and caicos so that was kind of a spontaneous trip that we did but i'm glad that i did it and i'm very lucky and blessed to have been able to go there and yeah that was a very fun trip i also recommend i recommend any place that i've ever been but turks and caicos is up there i really like that in august we went on our annual trip to Hershey Park. That is where Will and I first, like, had our first date. And that was exciting. We also went to Pittsburgh to go to another Cubs game. Shocker. <laughs> and we went to that with my dad and my brother. I think I have a video about that. But, yes, Hershey Park, Cubs game. And then we went to the Bay House for Labor Day weekend which I thought was just going to be Will and I, but that's when we got engaged. So August is the month that we got engaged and I can't believe that happened still. So that was something crazy that happened in 2019 that still <laughs> to this day, that is very shocking to me, but yeah, it's one of my favorite memories of 2019. Wedding planning to come, wedding videos to come in 2020. We still haven't found a wedding venue. So that is, in the works. September, my friends all came up and we did this like tacos and taps festival. That was so much fun. And it was just fun to have them all here and hang out with them and everything like that. And then Will and I went to Erie, Colorado for our friend's wedding and that was so much fun. This was honestly my first wedding that I've been to as an adult. So that was so much fun and it was so much fun to see our friends get married and 
it was just such a fun wedding and it was so intimate and it was just so exciting to see them get married i love them so it was just so good so then in october we went to cox farms for our fall festival that we always go to and that's always a lot of fun and we actually went with our friends that got married they came into town for that so that was so much fun we kind of always go with them and i'm so glad that they came into town so we could go with them and then we went home for halloween by home i mean to pennsylvania and that was a lot of fun i got to go out with all of my friends and hang out with them and then will and i went to don diablo to see him in concert and that was so much fun we were front row and oh my goodness love don diablo so much november we went to state college to the penn state game we tailgated we didn't actually go to the penn state game but oh my goodness it was so so cold <laughs> i don't even think we could have made it to the game because it was so cold but we made it to penn state and it was nice to see my family and everything and we did this experience at the mall here with his brother so it's called the void it was this virtual reality experience that we did with his little brother and it was avengers themed and it was a ton of fun and i'm glad we did it and apparently now they have like this jumanji one so maybe we'll go and do that one but it was a ton of fun and if they apparently like i don't know how long they'll do them for but they always like switch and like i think they'll have like a star wars one next but we'll see i'm not a big star wars fan oh and then in november we hosted a friendsgiving and all of my friends came up and we had like this huge feast of food and i'll totally insert a picture of all that food because it was so so good and it was just so nice to have like all my friends here and it was just such a good weekend and it was so nice to have them all here like i said and yeah friendsgiving was so so much fun i can't wait to do that again next year because i'm totally going to and then december which was like felt like it was yesterday we had christmas obviously and for christmas will and i went to north carolina to celebrate with his dad's side and we kind of like were there for a week but we worked from home most of the time and then afterwards we went from north carolina we came home to virginia and then we were here for like 24 hours we packed our bags and we dropped our dog off at the kennel and then we flew from here in virginia to naples florida to celebrate new year's so we were in naples for like four days i think and we worked from home there as well so <laughs> i'm thankful that we're able to work from home because that makes traveling and trying to like flex our time and stuff with our families a lot easier it's january while i'm filming this because i wasn't in town and i couldn't film this because i didn't bring my camera and stuff and that's why these videos are going up late and i'm sorry my voice is so bad right now it's like going in and out i think i'm like low-key losing it so i apologize i've been like trying to sip my water but it's just not helping so that is my 2019 in review pretty much i know i missed like some things probably this is just like the things that i could remember when i was scrolling through my pictures and like i don't know i was trying to like not pick everything obviously these are the things that i could like remember the most or that were the most memorable obviously there may be things that i missed out but that's okay because if i sat in front of this camera and told you everything that happened in 2019 we would be here forever so that concludes my 2019 in review i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below what your favorite memory of 2019 was and i'll see you guys in my next video bye